welcome to tonight's video recap. We hope you enjoy everything that we're bringing to you tonight. Well-established halt, dead steady in the contact. Claire, could be a little quicker into trot. Mark of 6.5, no, 7, 7, give it a 7. It was fairly good, I'm being a bit mean. The shoulder in, for me, lacks a little angle. It's a little bit too straight. It lacks a little flexion and bend, could be more. 6.5, medium trot. A little hurried, really needs to show a little more cadence and emphasis on the engagement. 6.5. Half pass left, again, a little more enthusiasm so you can create a little more cadence, but still good positioning, well ridden, super change of flexion bend. Seven for the first and a six for the second, struggling in the flexion and bend not really supple enough through the body and the pole and losing a little of the rhythm. Again, shoulder in left to me is a little better than the shoulder in right. Can give it a seven. And it, the medium trot this time was a little better. That little freer forearm, a little more uphill. Seven for the medium trot. This is better trot. Nice transition to walk and quite a good walk. Good rhythm, good steps. A little, you, in the collected walk, what I like to see is a horse that maybe could do PRF out of the collected walk. That wasn't going to do PR, so I'm not going to give it a 10, but it's, it's a seven collected walk with a comment of needs a little more activity. Nice, loose, quite a good over track. But for me, needs a little bit more definition, a little bit more um, emphasis on the clarity of the steps, a little sharper steps. It has a good walk. In the medium walk, it could be a little bit more back leg to front leg is a little lazy. Again, you want to see that maybe he could pee off before he did that pirouette and again, a little lazy, but still, Good steps in the pirouette, no missing steps. Well ridden, Claire, good job. A little more collection, it gets too slow. But the pirouette was well ridden and maintained the flexion to the right throughout. We like that. The first pirouette was a seven and the same with the second pirouette. The collected walk mark, six, needs more activity. Give it an eight for the canter transition. It was absolutely clear from the walk to the canter, but the little bit of the canter you see could have a little bit more jump and collection. Clear medium canter and a clear transition, seven. Now the half pass. Again, this right side lacks the flex. That's like, unfortunately, there's no flexion to the right. It's going to be a five. Little, the change is a 6.5. And again, the canter with the lack of activity doesn't allow the rider the chance to make the canter really pee off the ground and, and, and with a good impression. It's only a 5.5 .5 for, the, for that. Again, he sits very well. I really enjoy the sitting and the balance but the canter lacks a short and quick step. It's a little slow, but still a, a seven for the, that quarter pirouette. Extended. You've got to be careful that it's more clear than the medium. 
it wasn't too bad. Seven and and the transition back was really nice. I enjoyed the ability to collect seven point five for the extended. Now we have the changes. Really nice first one falling to the it falls a little to the left. Seven five for an advanced horse. Very nice changes. Good balance and confidence. And again, I don't like the fact that the line wasn't to the marker. That's where the eight missed out. Again, more flexion in the corner, more collection. You're collecting for a long time. It's, and that's what happens when you collect for too long. And then there's not a clear collection at the moment before the pirouette. But the out of the pirouette was a very good example of collection to work. Uh, I mean, the pirouette canter to collected canter. 6.5. But you collected way too long and too slowly before. Just let me check my page here. It should be M collector trot, MR collector trot, error of course. Claire, you should have gone to R and done the extended trot on the shorter diagonal. So an error of course here. A big loss of marks, but still the extended wasn't too bad. Could have been more clear. The extended trot is only going to get a 6.5. Two marks off for the error of course. For the transition to trot, 6.5 and the center line, a 7. A, good, a really good example of um, a, a horse well along the way towards Pre St. George. The collected trot transition, 6.5. Okay, the paces, three really nice paces, seven. The impulsion, 6.5. He's an elastic horse, but he needs to be more connected with more engagement. The submission, really nice attitude, very nice to watch, easy to judge. Could be a little light on the forehand, but the going maybe in that, that arena looked a little heavy. Yeah, give him a seven. I like his attitude. He really was quite good, except in the flexion, uh, in the half passes and lack of balance there. So you would toss up between a 6.5 and 7. I'll be give a seven. And the rider did a great job, seven for the riding as well. Uh, it's a little difficult for a judge to give a really high mark for the riding when there's an equality of flexion and bend and balance on the left and right side. Sure, the horse may be a little bit one-sided, but then maybe the rider's not so good at riding one side or the other. But, you know, I can only judge what I see. And because of the lack of equality, lack of equality in the flexion and bend and balance on both reins, I say the rider needs to look after that and say, so why? It's not a high mark from seven. But a, a really promising horse with a great attitude, very good trainability, and again, the same as I said about the advance, you need to work on the collection and the transitions, the half halt and the engagement. So we can say that for everyone, but you know, you back to basics, more liveliness, more quicker off the aids. Well done, Claire. Really nice horse. Well done, TS Wicked. So next in our online centerline classic will be uh, the horse Champagne Perrier and Ashley Atwell from Yellingbow in Victoria. Good luck, Ashley. You're a long way away, Ashley. It was nice and straight and the transition to, to halt looks fairly good. Also, the transition out looks fairly good as well. So if I'm selling fairly good, I guess I should say seven. But you didn't... Oh, yeah, seven. Give it a seven. The shoulder in shows good elasticity and good push and great rhythm. Seven. I wish I could see a bit closer, actually. It looks a little bit loose behind in the medium trot. Just a 6.5. Whoa, it's hard to see, actually, but I'm just giving a... Yeah, this looks very pleasant half pass. Maybe a little head tilt. 
Still, I'm going to give it a seven. And the half pass to the right. Really nicely done, but could finish it with a little bit more, being a little more parallel. 6.5. Remember, watching on video isn't always so easy. The shoulder in left was very consistent, but could show a little bit rounder frame and more collection. Seven. Whoa, it's hard to see you, Ashley. The medium trot, also a seven. I have to use my imagination quite a lot here, Ashley. I've got to tell you. And so, of course, you can't comment about mouth opening or whatever. It doesn't look like it's a horse that does. The walk has a very good purpose, and I really like the feeling of him pushing along in the walk. The frame looks like the nose could be a little bit more in front of the vertical and reach a little bit more, but I like the enthusiasm in the walk, and I'm going to give it a seven. Collected walk, extended walk, seven. Now we come to the, the walk. It's looking a little lazy here and a little bit off the contact. It needs to be a little bit more through. And there's not a clear transition to collected steps. You're doing it in a big open walk. And I wouldn't be surprised if you missed a step, but it didn't. But it was a little big. Six. It just lacks that collection and activity for a really sprightly collected and smaller pirouette. Active. Actually active. Getting a little bit slow, but still... You see a hell of a lot worse than that, don't worry. And also finish the pirouette with the right flexion. I know the video is not clear, but I really get a feeling that the, the, the trueness of the flexion to the right wasn't quite there. Mark of six and a comment of needs more collection and activity. Again, that mirrors the canter transition. It was a little bit up and down, a little bit neck nodding. The collected walk mark is a 5.5. Canter transition mark, six. Medium canter, six. Because I want to see clearer transitions. Now the half pass. Oh, actually, it's really hard to see. It looks good. It just looks like the canter could have more activity. When I say good, I didn't mean good. It looks fairly good. I'm going to give it a seven, and it was a clean change. A little bit not collected, really. You know, you're a little bit in working canter. It needs a little more activity. Now, the sitting for the collection, he's getting a little bum high here. But that's better. Well done. I really like... Good job. A, a, a seven for the pirouette. Now extended, go to the extended canter. And it was clearly more forward than the medium. Again, I think it needs to be a little more uphill. Mark of seven, maybe even more. But actually, I'm really sorry, but it's hard to see. You get the camera person to zoom a bit more. Now the fours. Whoa, I've got to be careful here. I can't see. Four. Four. They looked they looked good. Now, look, I can only say what I can see. And I'm old and half blind. Again, the line still could be a little bit more clearer to the marker. Still, I, I, I think it's worth a 6.5. Now, this pirouette to the right. Yeah, good job. Good ideas, good attitude. But the neck, for me, coming a little bit up and down and lacks connection. Also, it should be back to the marker. I'm a bit of a policeman about lines. So a mark of six. Now we have a transition to trot. The transition to trot was really pleasant. Seven. Now the mid extended trot. It's a little bit out behind and lacks a little uphill tendency and feeling of collection, extended collection, 6.5. Center line. It's really hard to see, I've got to say. A mark of seven for the center line and the halt. 
I hope I haven't missed any marks. My poor pencil trying to keep up with me is a bloody nightmare. But anyway, that's always the way it is. The paces, the freedom and regularity, it's a, a really nice horse. I like it a lot. It's a little parallel to the ground at the moment. It needs to engage and sit a little more. But it has a, a, a nice walk. It's a nice trot, nice canter, but they need developing for bigger marks. I think that they're fairly good paces and I'd give it a seven. Impulsion, desire to move forward, elasticity, relaxation of the back and engagement. The engagement's what lacks. He needs to rock back a little bit his body over the hind legs and be a little bit more uphill for advanced. It really lacks a, good, a better degree of collection. So for the impulsion, I'm going to give it a six. For the submission, I'm going to give it the same mark because I want to see more collection. He should be more together. He's got to be more packaged up. He's a little bit in an elementary frame. The curb rein was very loose. The, the, the submission through the pole and the roundness over the top line in the back could have been better. So for the submission, a six as well. The rider's position, you could tidy your position up a little bit. I think you were really effective. The changes were nice. Half pass positioning, you have a very good understanding of the requirements. You ride quite good lines, but with a little more collection and emphasis on the energy, those lines would come up sharper and clearer. But I think you did quite a good job. You need to sit a little taller. You get a little bit chair seat in your position occasionally. But, you know, great job. Really nice horse. I enjoyed it. I thought you rode a good test. I'll give you seven for riding. You know, well done, Ash. It was a really good job. It just needs a little more collection, but that's time and energy. Yeah, but nice paces. A little hurried, but good push and good purpose in the medium, seven. Yeah, nice trot. Really good trot. I like the trot on the short side. It shows great balance and activity. Seven for the shoulder in. Losing a little cadence and tempo in the in the Ron Ver right. Six. Now the extended trot. A little bit out behind in the extended, could be a little bit more engaged and uphill. Six, six, five. Transition mark, six. Shoulder in right. Nice fluency, seven. If we kept zoomed in, I could see the wrong view, but I can't see anything. It's just a blur, I'm afraid. Have to use a great imagination. I think it was a little unsteady in the contact six. Very good transition to walk. Rider could stay a little bit more behind with the shoulders and a little bit more on the seat and create a little bit more feeling the horse comes back on the hind leg. Still six five for the transition. This medium walk is too open in the frame. It's like novice good again because a little too open the frame the collector's drives weren't collected enough and that the walk tempo got too slow in the pirouette six again the same feeling but a little better than the first six five medium walk not really to the bridle and stepping up into the hand enough six
just need to be a little bit more through in the medium walk. It's the, the frame from medium to extended doesn't really show enough difference for those bigger marks. You know, the medium walk and the extended walk look pretty much similar to me. So the extended walk is going to get a six. Needs to be more different between medium and collective. You need to be positive and really show the judge a difference in the walks, not enough difference. And again, not enough collector steps. It was straight from medium walk. And again, the frame is too open and bouncing a little bit. Six for the canter transition. The half pass, the same feeling. It's not through enough in the contact and it's going up and down, not over the back and round and covering enough ground. Five, five for the half pass and four, five for the transition for the flying change. Again, the frame is too open. It lacks a degree of sitting. Yeah, not too bad in the Ford. Everyone rides a Ford quite well. It's the collection where the horse needs to go more through. Good. Now the half pass left. Better than the other one, I'll give that a six. And good, well done in the change, six, five. The medium canter mark was a six, five because of the lack of transitions. The circle now, nice place to circle. Quite nice balance, so I hope this is good. I can't see the rider's rain contact at all because the video is not close enough which is a real shame because I'd love to give it a nine or a 10 even, but I can't see it. And I don't think there was enough real balance, but six, five. Extended looks the same as medium. And then the transitions. The transitions got a little bit more open in the frame instead of more collected. So, Six five and a five five. Six five for the lengthening and a five five for the transitions. Nice straight down the center line. Can't quite see where the marker is, but it's okay. Again, I couldn't see the, the reins in one hand in the salute. So a mark of six five. And just a comment, you know, when, when we're doing these video online, it's the first one and it's great to see it and I, I love judging them. But it's really important that there's a few things. It's better to judge, to take a video so that the sun is behind you, not looking into the sun, number one. Number two is to zoom in as close to the horse as you can so you can feel more of the screen. So I, as a judge, get a better idea of the top line, the contact, and I can see more of what the horse is actually doing. So little hints about that. Still a really nice horse, but for me, it lacks a degree of collection for the medium test. Paces is six five, good regularity and freedom. Impulsion could be a little bit more, especially in the collected work, but some nice steps. Six, submission, the same, could be more collected, more through the pole, a little bit more submissive in the rain, a little more steady. Six, six, and the rider, a six five. I think it's a Really nice horse and great combination. And with a little bit more work, it'll be a really good horse. So well done to you, Sarah Broughton and Matina. Impressive. Oh, someone dressed in with a jacket on. It must be Victorian. It's too hot in New South Wales for that stuff. Really nice entry, really well established hold. I like it. The video is a bit funny in the transition. Now still seven five. Yeah, nice. Yeah, good transition in. Whoops, a little lack of balance. <laughs> A little bit grumpy about being honest, a little bit tail swishing, but still, it's seven. It's fairly good. Whoa, good on the short side. I really like that uphill tendency. This looks great. 
Really good. A little more flexion in the shoulder in. Seven. Well done in the Romvair. Could be a little more tactful and supple in the change of flexion. Seven. And guess what? I'm going to remember the transition mark. Transition in. Yeah, really nice. Oh, whoa. Looking good. Seven. And actually, I like the transitions better than the extended. Seven, five for transitions. I like this uphill tendency on the short side and the shoulder is great. I like the impulsion and the zip and the activity in the collection. Seven, five shoulder in. A little stuck in the bridle, in the rhombe. Could be a little bit more self-carriage, a little more fluent. Lack of flexion right in the corner. Seven. A little bit lacking collection before the transition to medium walk. And the corner could be a little bit more obvious with a little more flexion and control. Seven all the same. I really like the frame. Oh, good counter pirouette. Unfortunately, that, because a little lack of throughness and a bit against the bride, is going to bring you down to a 5-5 five, five for the pirouette that could have been a 7 or an 8. This looks better. Whoopsie. So then he decides he'll just play the get stuck in the hind leg for you. Showing a little lack of collection, a 4.5 for the pirouette to the left. The medium walk, Marky has good medium walk, fairly good medium walk. Seven, it could be a little bit more letting go through the pole so the walk steps can be more pure in the medium. Now, the extended walk. I'd give it a seven, five, and I think if it was more purposeful with a little bit more kick along attitude, I think it would be an eight. It's hard to see the transition in the frame, but I'm going to give the transition to Canter an eight. It was totally clear and uphill from where I sit here. And the half pass could show more bend and flexion. And the quarters are leading at the end too much. Six, five, six, six, six. A good change, fairly good change. Seven. Again, your corner lacks a definite line for me. Extended counter, really nice. Like it. More shoulder four in the collection. Come on, get him a little bit more around your leg. And less steps. There was too many steps in a fading transition. So the extended counter, seven. The transition, six. Again, your half pass lacks a little bit. It's getting a bit slow and laboured. Lacks activity, six, five. Whoa. Convenient video mistake, but it was still a clean change, and I'm going to give it a seven. It could be a little bit rounder, more through the contact. Give and retake. Super balance, seven, five. Why not an eight? Change it to an eight. I can't tell you why it wasn't good. It was good. Good. Now, extended. It looked a little bit the same as the medium to me. So I'm going to come back a little and only give it a seven. And again, the transition was fading into the collection. It wasn't positive enough. Give it a six. The quarters are to the right on the centre line. Really nice transition to trot. Really nice halt. And a seven despite him being a little crooked on the set line in the canter. Impressed. Really nice horse. Really nice horse. With a really lovely uphill tendency. Maybe I was a bit mean in my mark, but... Paces. 7-5. Impulsion. 7. Submission. 7. Riding 7-5. I enjoyed the test a lot. I think the horse shows great potential and possibility. I think he, everything is along the right way. 
except when you go sideways in your lateral work in the canter especially, you need to pay more attention to keeping a quicker, more active, lively canter. It gets a little bit droll and then you lose the ability to keep a light, supple inside flexion and bend. More transition backwards and forwards. You know what to do. You're doing a great job. Well done. Welcome to Equestrian Life's first ever digital magazine. As a result of COVID-19, our May and June edition will be digital, monthly and free. We hope that you enjoy all the action-packed content that we've put into this magazine, from Roger Fitzharding to Heath Ryan to Mary Hannah to Dave and Talara Cameron, Ingrid Klimka, the Barretts, EQ Journeys, important health discussions, my favourite dish, a yummy apple pie. Enjoy. We're looking forward to hearing all your feedback and take care. Really lovely impression to begin with. Good centre line. Looks a little bit like it could have stepped up with the left four, but a very clear salute. Reigns in one hand. Nice salute. Positive into the transition. Nice horse. Seven for the entry. Shoulder and right. Lacks a little steadiness and continuity in the flexion. Could be a little bit better balancing the shoulder in a 6.5. A little bit traverish into the circle left, but still good balance. Seven for the half circles. Eight for the traver. I like it. Nice frame, nice uphill feeling. Shoulder in left, better than the shoulder in right. Yeah, I think it's good. Eight. We're talking elementary here. Yeah, nice horse. A little more flexion right. Good circles all the same. Seven, five. Eight for the Trave right. Impressive. Good balance. Good activity. Good self-carriage, well done. Medium trot. Seven five, transition seven five. I like to halt. One, two, three. Four, five. You need to learn to count, Caitlin. The test says three to four. You can't do five. Bad mistake. Easy loss of marks. 5.5 for the rain back. Too many steps. They were nice steps all the same. I'm probably a bit tough, but you need to be tough because you're not going to make that mistake again. I like the walk. Extended walk, seven. It's a long range walk, but now collect the steps. Quick, quick, quick. Two sideways with the high leg. Oh, good time for that break. I can assure you, not needed, buddy. Still a six, five. The one to the left lacks balance, but well corrected. A little resistance, but you tried to keep the left flexion. Six.
seven for the candid transition. Really lovely medium canter. Medium walk mark, seven. Medium canter mark, seven, five. Now the serpentine. Seven, could show a little bit more collection and shorter steps before the walk. Next simple change, shorter. A little bit, ugh. you need to get more collection into a collected walk. Still it's a seven. And it's a seven five for the general impression of the serpentine. A little fussy in the contact, but really lovely canter. The hind leg comes to the front leg, good balance. He's thinking about doing a change, getting a little bit high behind. And so the walk transition a little abrupt and not sitting enough. So the counter canter, seven, could be more engaged. Whoa. And, this, and the walk to canter, anticipation in the walk, spoiled a, a really nice movement. So it can get a six. Medium canter, again, I really like it. Seven, no, seven, five. Pencils love it when you change your mind. Seven, five. Now the change to rain. This counter canter looks a little better than the last one. A little more sitting. Seven, five. And it could be a good transition, it looks to me, to trot. Well done. Transition to trot seven five, super engagement and uphill feeling in the collected trot. Good turn to the center line. I want to go back and see that again because it should be IG collected trot down the center line, medium trot sitting or rising. I just don't see enough clarity. Medium trot, six. Collected trot, six. Halt, seven. Pace is freedom and regularity, seven, five. Impulsion, seven. Submission, a little wobbly in the contact at times, but okay. Nice uphill feeling seven, riders position seven five. A really nice elementary test, no question. It's just a little bit that last center line, the medium trot, collected trot, the clarity and the definition there wasn't quite clear enough for the big marks. But I really like this horse's uphill tendency. I like the way he was ridden. You did well, good preparations. He's very much along the right way. I really enjoyed the test. Thank you very much indeed, Caitlin Holm, for a great test with Cesarati. How lucky are we to have Roger Fitzharding giving us expert commentary and expert judging for our online dressage competitions? May 31 is your last chance to submit your entries for the May competition. We are running preliminary, novice, elementary, medium and advanced tests. $25 for one test, $40 for two tests. Grab your unique chance to have Roger Fitzharding giving you expert advice. Thank you for watching tonight's video recap with Equestrian Life. We'll see you next time. Thank you.